Good morning, my name is Marco Zupponi. I'm a Dell case trainer based in Brackton, UK. And I want to show you in this video how it's possible with the case 2000 to take an image from a system that has the Windows system partition and how to redeploy it. Uh, generally speaking, if you want to create your gold image, I'd, uh, I'd like to advise you against uh, uh, using system with more than one, one partition. This is due to uh, a couple of issues. One that you can easily overcome watching this video. The first one is that uh, uh, normally out of the box uh, without uh, following this video or having a look to the KB article 113970 is not possible to redeploy this kind of images but the solution is simple as, as we will see in this video the second uh, issue uh, that actually uh, with this version um, I, uh, we are at the version of the k2003.7 service pack one is not possible to redeploy a, a partition using um, a system using multicast that has more than one uh, partitions so if you want to use multicast uh, you need to capture use uh, you need to capture your image using WIM and the system need to be a single system partition. So I have my environment already here. I have a key. Uh, I have uh, in my lab a K a K2000, and then I have my uh, Windows 8.1 uh, 64-bit. Um, you, uh, this is totally the the same with uh, with Windows 7, so uh, it's not so important if it's Windows 7 or Windows 8. So uh, first of all, I want to start to capture this uh, uh, this system. So what I will do, I will boot, and this system is configured to boot directly in the using the network. Okay. I will choose the WIMP5, the KB based on WIMP5 64 bit. So now I select imaging and I select to capture. We give it a name, and this is a Windows 8.1x64 bit in English. Remember always to capture both of the partition, not only one of the two. So C and D. In this case, I will use the Windows image in format, but you can even use the K image. It depends by your preferences. And now I start to capture. So now finally the image capture has been completed. We can press the OK here and have a brief look to the log. Everything seems fine. There are no errors at all. So we can for sure go back, back to the main menu and even shut down this machine. We completed the capture, so we don't need this machine anymore. Now we need to move on the K2000. Okay. The deployments. System images. We have uh, our That's system image that we just captured. So before to deploy an image, as you know, we need to configure it. But uh, this image uh, is made from um, two different par partitions, so it's not a single partition image. We need to do something more. Uh, we need to create uh, a couple of uh, pre-installation actions, because as you can see here, the one that we have available out of the box to uh, create the partition and format the partition, they are only able to create a single partition and format a single partition. So we will need something different uh, to uh, create uh, uh, both of the partition, the, the system partition and the normal partition, the data partition, and then 
um, another uh, positive uh, pre-installation action to format both, both of them. So um, there is an article that can help you. This article is the article 113970. And, and from this article, I took the two uh, pre-installation action that we need to capture, the script for the two pre-installation action that we need to uh, create to um, be able to redeploy this image, this kind of image. So let's go to the library. Pre-installation task. Choose action. I need one for the partition, so it will be a disk part script. And I can call it uh, create uh, two partitions. I take this. I took it from the article. So this one will create um, two partition and it will create the partition for the system partition. Uh, it will create it 200, me uh, 200 megabyte. Uh, normally should should be fine, but be aware that in some case you may have a system partition that is bigger than than that. So uh, you can have a look when you when you capture it. If your system partition is bigger, you will need to increase that size. Instead of 200, you need to increase the the size to fit your system partition. Let's save it. Now we will need a script to format both of the partitions and uh, add the boot sector as well. So choose action. This time it will be a batch. I call it uh, format C and D. Okay, this will format C and D and then add the boot sector as well for C and D. Save. Okay, now I can return to deployments. System images. I can click on my system image. Now. Remember always to activate the driver feed so when you take the image of a computer to redistribute it to different computers, always sysprep, close the image with, with the sysprep. And remember that if you are going to deploy this image on a different uh, model uh, or, or manufacturer, always enable this checkbox. If you do not check this checkbox mainly, you will uh, the driver uh, the driver feed mechanism is not going to work for your deployment. Okay, now instead of using the create single partition, I will use this one. Create a two partition format C and D. I don't need to add in my case other things. I will keep it very simple. So I can press save. OK, and now we go to deploy our image. I will create a new virtual machine for that. OK, and now we can try to boot from the K2000 and apply that image. We boot uh, in 64 bit. And now we go to imaging. Deploy. This one is the one that we just captured. 
and we go to start. So here we have the our create to partition and then the format C and D. And now the deploy. The image is now deployed, so the last test is to find out if we are able to boot if uh, we you followed all the instruction correctly. For sure, your image will be totally bo bootable. So let's see. Okay. I, perfect. So let's try to log in. It is doing the usual cleanup, but everything seems totally fine. For the sake of the presentation, I will speed up a bit again the time. Okay, so let's log in again. So everything seems fine. We were able to boot our system. Um, that we just deployed with uh, the uh, system partition. And now it's restarting for the final step, but the system is perfectly deployed. So I hope you enjoyed this video and now you know exactly what you need to do if you need to get an image from a system that has this partition scheme, so with a Windows uh, uh, system partition and especially how to redeploy correctly this uh, kind of system images. If uh, you are going to create your gold image, uh, I advise you against to um, use this kind of uh, system images with uh, uh, the system, the window system partition or system images with uh, more than one partition because you will incur in a limitation. If in the future you want to use uh, the uh, multicast to deploy this system image, you will not be able to, to do that because you can only deploy uh, mul uh, image, system images using multicast in case 2003.7 um, at least if uh, the image is a WIM image uh, taken from a system with a single partition only. Thank you for watching again and uh, I wish you a very nice day. Thank you.